This is Lisa Spangler with a video for Studio Calico. Today I'm going to share a fun way to use up your scraps. Um, I like to keep my scraps in these plastic bags that sometimes your goodies come in when you order them. I love seeing these in my box. Um, and here's just a few of my scraps. So I'm not going to use all the colors, but I'll pick some out later. And then I'm going to show you a fun stamping technique too. And these are the two sets I'm going to be using. The Workplace set by In a Creative Bubble and the Friendship Craft Eye and Stamp set by Life Love Paper. I just love both of them and I thought it went really great with this coffee gift card. So when I made this gift card holder, I just totally winged it. Um, and here are my papers. I'm using a piece of vellum and a piece of this Baxter paper. And they're trimmed to four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I, I'm totally not a template person. I didn't even know the measurements um, until after I had already cut the paper. <laughs> um, but anyhow, and now for the stamping technique. I've been hoarding this piece of paper. I think it came in one of the January kits. And I really liked how it looked with the um, text in different colors like of gray like that. Um, so what I did was, I'm going to set the vellum aside for now, and then I'm going to be stamping on the back side of that Baxter paper. And all you have to do to get the same look is just grab your stamps and some black ink. I'm going to be using the Color Theory Inky Black. And then I like to start stamping in the upper left corner. I don't know why I always do that. But the only trick is to keep stamping without re-inking. And you can get about um, three stampings out of one inking. So here I'm stamping the You Can Do It coffee. I love that. Um, and then without re-inking, you just stamp it again. Um, and here's the little handmade for you. I thought that was kind of appropriate to put on a handmade gift card holder. But anyhow, you just keep stamping without re-inking. So I went ahead and finished stamping so you wouldn't have to watch. Um, but as you can see, it looks really cool with the different shades of gray. Even though that's all the inky black ink is the only ink color that I used. Next, I went ahead and punched out a bunch of circles out of the scraps. Um, as you can see, I made a bunch. I don't know if I'll end up using all of them or not. And now it's on to putting together the gift card holder. So I put the piece of vellum on top of the stamped piece and I just folded it up from the bottom. And like I said, I didn't really measure this. I just kind of winged it. I just like put the gift card in there and then scored it really well with the bone folder. And next we're going to sew and make the little pocket so that the gift card will fit in there. But first we have to sew across the top of the bottom flap to hold the two pieces together. So I went ahead and did that. I just sewed right across the top um, of the bottom pocket. Um, otherwise, like don't make a mistake and sew all the way through because then you won't be able to put the gift card in. Um, so once that's done, now comes the fun part, and that's putting all of these little circles in here. Um, so I had thought about this for a little bit, and I thought the easiest way to do this would be to go ahead and open that back up, and then put some circles in there, and just kind of like load them all up. These don't shake around as much as, say, sequins do in a Project Life pocket, um, but they do move around a little bit. So I just kind of load it up, um, just put a bunch in there, and then I'll show you my little trick, maybe one more. I put the vellum back down, and then I got some washi tape, and I just kind of tacked it on there um, just until I could take it over to the sewing machine so they wouldn't just all fall out onto the floor. Um, so just put a little piece of washi tape there to kind of hold it down and then hold the sides when you take it over to the sewing machine just like that so I went ahead and sewed all the way around um, to make a little pocket there and here's the other side so you can see it and just remember you don't want to sew all the way through that's why we sewed that um, the two pieces together on the bottom flap first 
Now we're going to score this to make the top flap. And this is my little um, scoreboard. You don't have to use this, but the paper is really thick. So I thought um, this would be better to do it this way so that I can get a nice good crease. And here I am folding it over. And then I get my bone, bone folder again and give that a really, really, really good crease. Because this, like I said, this paper is really thick. But it makes it seem really uh, sturdy, like something you bought. So there you have it. And you can go ahead and slide the gift card right in there. And then to close this up, I just went and got some washi tape. Um, I think I'll go for this one with the grid. And so just grab some tape. I love having a whole bunch of uh, colors like this to choose from and it doesn't take up very much space like my regular washi collection. Um, but there you have it. A little gift card holder. And I think it's pretty simple to make. So whenever you go to the store and they're out of little cute gift card holders, you can go ahead and make your own. Here's a close up of the front so you can see the washi tape. And then here's a close up of the inside with all of the stamping and the little pocket. So thanks so much for joining me and I hope you give this a try. Bye.